stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner. I, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all your books. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And to keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Are you saying like... Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? Mm -hmm. You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah. Don't go in there, Dylan. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a head again. Over eager fans always do. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was keeping it. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lane. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Hi, uh, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this thing? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home, okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here. 
I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in the sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book.